Hey guys, this is Mel, and it's that time of year again. Today's video is going to talk about the 2021 CW Upfronts, which got announced today, which is May 25th, 2021. It's a week later than when the usual Upfronts would have happened. Um, not going to lie, I kind of forgot that it was Upfront season right now, because usually TV shows would have their finales in the, in the month of May, but because of the pandemic shifting everything over, that's not happening, so I don't really have that. Oh, it's finale, finale, upfronts are now. It's, it's it didn't click to me until I realized that. Oh, it's May. Where where is the new schedule? So here I'm going to talk about that for the CW. And actually, it I think they announced it uh, the week previously. I think May 13th it was. They announced that the CW is now expanding it to have programming on Saturday as well. So we're going to get all seven days having. Um, uh, something in line for us to watch, which I think is pretty great. Um, so up on screen right now, we'll have a list of the 20 different shows that we will be getting or returning um, for this season that were from the previous one. We have six shows that are supposedly new as of right now of this recording. There are still some that are awaiting some news, so we'll have to wait for that. And then we got the eight shows that are sadly not returning with us, including Black Lightning, Bulletproof, Burden of Truth, Supergirl, Supernatural, Swamp Thing, Tell Me a Story, and Trickster. Kind of sad because a bunch of the stuff I watch is on that list. Okay, but here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to go off of what we what was released about the programming, um, and then I'll go into, well, I'll tell you what all the mid-season shows are, and then we'll go into the predictions of how I think those mid-season shows are going to fit into the current lineup since we only know about the fall start or I guess the new adjusted fall start. So let's start with Sunday because I personally start my weeks on a Sunday, not a Monday. Um, so with Sunday at eight o'clock is supposed to be uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple, uh, which is a reboot of a game show from my understanding. And then at nine o'clock is Killer Camp, which is another game show. So you'd have two unscripted shows for Sunday uh, for Sunday's lineup. Uh, for Monday, though, we get the return of All American at eight o'clock with its season four, and then we get the premiere at nine o'clock of the show, uh, four thousand four hundred, um, which is meant to be um, a reboot from the two thousand four series of the same name, and it's supposed to be about a group of alien abductees who are suddenly returned to Earth, not having aged at all since they disappeared. I'm kind of sensing some. 100 vibes like the 100 vibes so i'm not sure so that'd be interesting so that's gonna be nine o'clock on mondays then we go to tuesdays so tuesdays we get the return of the flash in its same time slot of eight o'clock we're getting season eight and then at nine o'clock instead we get riverdale coming in with season six on its new date and yeah new date and time because it's usually at eight i think so nine o'clock on tuesdays now we go into wednesdays wednesdays is a completely brand new lineup for the day and that is Legends of Tomorrow with Season 7 at 8 o'clock. And then we get Batwoman with Season 3 at 9 o'clock. Very different as they are both currently airing on Sunday nights. So now we get the midweek. Um, so that'll be pretty interesting. Thursday is completely the same, untouched with Walker at 8 o'clock with Season 2. And then Legacies at 9 o'clock with Season 4. Um, so that's the same as what it's currently going on right now. Um, and then we go into uh, Fridays. Fridays at 8 o'clock we get Penn and Teller Fool Us. Um... And then at nine o'clock we get Nancy Drew with season three on its new date and our new date because it, it new, usually comes on at nine, so we do have that. Now Saturdays the new day, um, new lineup is going to be uh, Whose Line Is It Anyways at eight o'clock, and then it's going to have World's Funniest Animals at nine o'clock. So uh, that's kind of the lineup as it is right now. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Usually this would start at October, but because everything has been shifted due to the pandemic, I'm not sure if it's still going to be October. I think they still plan to start the seven day lineup uh, that first week. Um, so that's kind of where my mind is setting that they're trying to get that back into it. Um, but let's go into what the mid season shows are. So mid season shows would include Charm with season four, uh, Dynasty with season five, In the Dark with season four. Kung Fu with Season 2, uh, Roswell, New Mexico with Season 4, uh, Stargirl with Season 3, and Superman and Lois with Season 2. There's also going to be two brand new shows as well. The spinoff for All-American, titled All-American Homecoming, is supposed to be a mid-season show. 
as well as Naomi, which is supposed to be another superhero type show um, that's coming out mid season. I do not know if it's connected to the Arrowverse or not. So that's something to look forward as well. But according to the list that I showed previously, there's also supposed to be three other unscripted shows that are supposed to be coming on, but I don't know when in the lineup they are. It's supposed to be a great chocolate showdown. What I lie to you, both the UK and the US version. Now, shows are waiting for news. There's supposedly supposed to be a, a Nancy Drew spinoff titled Tom Swift. We're, they're waiting on news about whether or not that's moving forward, as well as the live action grown up take of Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls titled Powerpuff. They're still awaiting news about that. So with all that said and done, guys, where do I think these mid-season shows are going to fit into the current lineup after they've aired their stuff? So I'm thinking Sunday and Saturday are still going to stay with their whole unscripted programming, um, which makes sense. Um, so um, I don't know how they set it up or how they do their reruns or what, but I'm going to leave those as those type of shows. Um, when it comes to Monday, I think that we're going to get the All-American spinoff coming in with 8 o'clock where All-American was. And then 4,400 4, is going to be replaced with In the Dark, I think. Um, again, prediction, guys. Um, now, Tuesdays. Tuesdays, because it's The Flash and Riverdale, I'm thinking it's going to be Roswell taking over for Roswell, New Mexico, for sure, because it usually comes in on a Tuesday. And it, I'm thinking it might be Superman and Lois that comes in at 9. But then it really depends because Wednesdays, I'm thinking it's going to be another s superhero night, whether it's going to be Stargirl and Naomi taking over Wednesdays, or it's going to be Stargirl and Superman, and then Naomi is going to be going to Tuesdays. Um, but I think, because I don't know in what sense Naomi, like what kind of tone is that meant to be? Uh, is it meant to be lighter? Is it meant to be darker? I, I don't know. And then that could depend on which show it gets paired up with. Um, Thursdays. Thursdays is going to be a huge, huge prediction because I think it's either going to be Powerpuff and Tom Swift if both of those two get picked up. Or it might be some of the, the summer... Uh, scheduled shows popping into this not sure uh fridays though i think we'll get charm and dynasty will be taking up that spot just because those two have also they have been on fridays um so i don't see why it wouldn't just come back into its usual time slot but again those are just my predictions it's a little bit harder um with the shift of um the programming due to the pandemic um delaying things so I don't know when mid-seasons would be happening. I'm hoping mid-seasons usually happen like January, March, and then, yeah, January, March, and then like April-ish kind of a thing. So I'm hoping mid-season kind of looks like that. But then it really does depend how long the seasons of, are of the original fall lineup would be. Um, so I do like making the predictions. I'm definitely going to be wrong, but it would be really cool to check back in on this video when the time comes and just see if like, oh, was I right or not? I don't know. Um, but that is pretty much it, guys. I will link down below the um, the sites that I used um, to get this information. I know I went to Wikipedia because it has the chart of everything on there. I know I um, there was a, the first instance that it brought me more news was the Hollywood Reporter article. So I'll link that down below as well. Usually, Futon Critic always has something posted, but it hasn't been posted at the time of me recording this. But when I edit it, I will include it. Uh, oh, it's now just posted up right now. Um, uh, I would definitely include it in the, the link below because the Fruton press release one will definitely go into more detail on what all these newer shows are and like the full like um, show synopsis and stuff like that for you. Um, so that'd be something pretty cool there. Ooh. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at there, guys. So I hope you guys check back in. To see what I have to say about any of the video, uh, any of the shows I cover. I hope this video about the CW upfronts was helpful for you, um, or just go check out the articles as well too if you want a little bit more detail. This is just a very quick overview of what it is to come um, starting in October of 2021. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your patience, and I hope you come back to check out my other videos on this channel. Until then, guys, please stay safe. Please wear a mask, and just have a great day. Bye for now.